Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lalika and welcome to my apartment in Kuwait. It is just a studio apartment so I do hope that the provided accommodation you get is much bigger than this. I do hope this video gives you an idea of, let's say, a worst case scenario <laughs> in terms of size wise that you could be given. When I first arrived, it was not set out well, so I did have to do some rearranging, which is the last thing you want to do after a long... So all of this is hopefully going to get taken tomorrow. So I've started to unpack. My at least carry on. <laughs> and so I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'm just trying to get into bed, actually. That's all I want to do, even though it is blurring daylight outside. I'm just really flailing now. So yeah, I've made a little living area. And it's weird, I'm still umming and ahhing about this TV, but I realise because I have a sofa that I've now sat on, wow, I just don't use TVs, but I could. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. I've literally just pushed the bed up against the sofa and, oh well, that'll just have to do. And yeah, and then, um, oh, I didn't even show you the outside earlier. So as I say, I've just started to unpack one pair of jeans, well only got one pair of jeans, and I just think that's great. This is my view, which is not that exciting, and even though this is a door, it does not, I can't get it open. And yeah, so we, so I guess my first impressions. I thought it would be more, and as we drove from the airport to here, it did very much remind me of Riyadh, with construction going on, and the shorter buildings, like the apartments were like four stories high, and then we came to this area, and they're much higher, like you can see how far I am off the ground, I've forgotten what floor I live on right at this moment, <laughs> but this, this many floors, and there's the mosque over there. So yes, I can hear the bells going, and yeah, this is just a more built up area, but I haven't even walked around. I can see, even just by looking out here, that there isn't too much going on on the street directly around. At least from what I expected, but I'm used in East Asia where it's not clean, so you usually do spend your first day just cleaning the grime that is just in your general way. So it's nice that I've just sort of swept the floor as I've moved furniture because obviously this furniture hasn't been moved in a minute. And I'm still tossing up about this cupboard. Because <laughs> I have to decide like now or before I unpack this at the end of the bed here. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to put my suitcase here. Because as lovely as I want it should be nice and tidy up there. I just... I've got, I've actually got nothing to stand on to get it up there, like I've got the bed to stand on, there's no other, none of, well I don't think any of this furniture would hold me, but there's, yeah I can't kind of just fling it, <laughs> it's just a little bit too high. A pot. I'm not whinging about the bench space because as I've lived in, I've lived in Korea, lived in China, this is a decent amount of space. <laughs> Even though once you lay this down, your whole bench is gone. <laughs> but it is, I've made it work with less. Guys, I have not had an oven in an apartment for years. Years. So it's so exciting. So I bring these kind of pictures with me that I buy in different places. They're just canvas and they're just so easy and light and can go on the bottom of your suitcase. And basically it just makes the apartment feel like mine because look at this ginormous cream wall with nothing. 
that feature. Well, they just have blue tack just stuck to the back of them. So the, yes, they do all stick together. That's why this is actually this is actually just blue tack from another time where it's been in my suitcase, but I don't care. And again, nice light flat canvas that doesn't really add to the weight of my suitcase, but adds so much colour to these ridiculously dull walls. I not only have, well I do not like front loaders, but here we go. Front loader washing machine. I have not lived in an apartment with a dryer for years. So that's going to be great for sheets because literally last year in China, I would take them to the dry cleaner just to be able to get them dry because I had nowhere to put them. This is the only door in the apartment that's through to the bathroom because everything else is just 